ever been successful with New Year's resolutions. I mean, I like the concept, but in reality, I've never really been able to make them stick. So what do you do when you want to make real positive changes in the upcoming year, but you don't want to have to worry about the ultimate failure that comes with traditional resolutions? Well, today I'm going to share with you a strategy that I use to make sure that I'm growing every day of the year. So stick around. Hey there, I'm Matt Kastner. I'm the founder of Freelance on Fire, and I'm a freelance web and graphic designer with 25 years experience. I'm also a freelance business coach, and I help purpose-driven creative professionals turn their valuable skills into profitable and rewarding freelance businesses. I love helping others have the freedom, joy, and the rewards of running their own freelance businesses while serving clients they love and taking control of their earning potential. Hey, I'm glad you're here with me today. Before we get started into today's uh, uh, topic, I want to let you know that I'm going to be launching a podcast very soon. You can subscribe down below to get notifications when I go live. It's going to be a podcast called Freelancing for Pod. Uh, uh, marketing for freelancers and it's a podcast for freelancers helping you to grow your business okay so i'd love to have you join me if you'd love to be notified when the podcast goes live just click on the link down below and uh, i'd be happy to send you a notification also i want to let you know that we have a facebook group um, that's free for freelancers if you go to the link down below it's uh freelance uh, uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash freelance on fire. And we'd love to have you join us. Uh, we share tips. I share experiences, ideas, uh, all about launching and growing a freelance business. Okay. So let's get back into it. I, I talked about not being able to stick with resolutions and let's just be honest. Uh, New Year's resolutions are hard. Um, we start off with great intentions, but uh, you know, studies show that most people have abandoned or failed at their resolutions before they get out of January, um, which shows that there's just not enough, uh, there's not enough success that happens from these resolutions to keep people engaged throughout the entire year. And I got to the point in my life where I was just not even making resolutions because who wants to set a resolution, set up a new goal for the new year, start off great guns, and all of a sudden you can't maintain it, uh, things in life change, uh, and you end up just feeling this feeling of failure. Um, you know, and nobody likes that. Nobody wants to start off and, and uh, try to achieve, achieve a goal that we ultimately know in the back of our mind is, is not going to happen. So I want to talk to you a little bit about a strategy that I've used over the past five years. And it, uh, it came from a book entitled One Word That Will Change Your Life. And it was written by a couple of friends of mine, Dan Britton and Jimmy Page and best-selling author John Gordon. And the book, in an essence, is about taking a, a word throughout the year and letting it permeate your entire year. Um, and I'm going to talk about that because what I have found by choosing uh, one word um, for my year is that uh, it takes away the pressure that comes with a normal New Year's resolution. There really is no way you can fail. Okay. All there are are upsides. It's about making progress and taking time to focus in on one word that will uh, permeate throughout your um, throughout your life in the upcoming year. So what I want to talk to you are about the three ways to make this one word concept uh, a success for you. And if you've tried this before and you understand, uh, thank you. I want to invite you before we go too much further. If you have a word uh, for 2021 already, I'd love you to share it in the comments down below just as inspiration for other people. Let's let other people know kind of what uh, we are going to choose as a focus word for us in the upcoming year. And I'm going to share with you uh, some of my past words, as well as, um, you know, hopefully there'll be some other people chime in with theirs to kind of give you inspiration. And I'll just say that these words are not unique. And many times I've actually taken my words as uh, from other people who've used these words in the past. So, you know, totally, if you see a word in any of that I've used or someone else has used, and you think it resonates with you and you think you'd like to make that your word for the upcoming year, 
by all means, adopt it and make it yours. So uh, one of the things I want to talk, and this is really where it all starts, is picking one word, okay? So it doesn't have to be complicated, and it shouldn't be. It just needs to be meaningful. Um, one of the things that has helped me over the past several years of doing going through this exercise is really taking stock in how these words have moved in me and how they have helped me uh, to grow in the years preceding. So it's great when you pick a word um, because that word becomes something that you kind of uh, you adopt and you focus on throughout the entire year. And then as you get to the end of the year, um, for instance, my uh, 2019 word was refine. And so, uh, you know, refining is actually a hard word if you think about it, because uh, it's about making something um, more pure, um, but it requires some heat. If you think about gold and you refine gold, there's impurities that are inside the gold. And to get the impurities out, you have to raise the temperature of the gold to the level to where those, those impurities start to separate uh, from the metal. And uh, it's kind of painful when you think about it. And uh, I'm going to I'm just going to be very honest with you. Um, there's been some times throughout 2020. Um, it's been a hard year and I have felt the heat raised up in my own life in more than one way. And but the idea is that that fire is there and can have purpose. OK, so when things are tough and when I felt these challenges in my life in 2020, I've had a decision to make. Am I going to let these this heat and these challenges and these struggles pull me down and crush me, or am I going to allow them to refine me? Are they? Am I going to allow them to to make me uh, something more and better? Um, so that has really helped me in my mindset for 2020 with that word alone allowing me to navigate what has been a very, very challenging year. Um, and I can look back now and I can see that the unpleasant struggle and stress that's come with 2020 in a lot of ways has produced uh, something that um, is, is better than the, uh, the, the prior. Um, a few other uh, words that I've had in the past, and I'll just share these with you. Uh, my word for 2019 was courage. And my word for 2018 was focus. And the first word that I chose when I started this process back in 2017 was the word intention. And so these words have been um, with me and the word refine has been with me in 2020. And it has been a word that has come to mean quite a lot for me, um, way more than a New Year's resolution ever could or hope to. Um, just because there's so much context in the way this word has played out throughout this year. Um, so I just want to share for you, I've already picked my word for 2021, and I'm going to encourage you to do the same. Um, it's in, we're in December here. The new year is just a little, uh, little, a little bit away, uh, just a couple of, of weeks. And I want you to be thinking about the word that might define you uh, for 2021 or the one that you might let help define you. Um, for me, I, the word that I have picked is the word better. Um, I have felt like the, the word I picked this year, refine, has really helped me get better in some ways. Um, and so I kind of want to continue the process uh, into 2021, ending up 2021 better than when I started. And it's a it's it's a it's a it's a it's a way for me to focus in on my daily work that even even in my daily tasks, how can I get better? Um, so, you know, step number one is just pick a word, something that's doable. It, the word should inspire you. It should uh, help you be able to see uh, how you can uh, improve as a person through the focus of this one word. So pick a word. Pick one that, like I said, it's not complicated but does have meaning. The second thing I want you to do as you, as you plan on um, your word for 2021 is I want you to apply it. Okay, so I want to tell you there are seven ways in which I allow the word that I pick to be applied to my life. 
And uh, I, they are seven key areas and they all start with the letter F. So I'm going to give them to you. So the, the, le the, the seven areas of my life that I let my, uh, my word for the year uh, kind of impact and uh, let, let lead in my life is number one, family, my, my wife, my spouse, my children, my parents, extended family, uh, those people that are close to me, those people that I care deeply about, those relationships. I want those in 2021 to be better. Uh, number two is faith. Uh, I am a Christian and I have a very uh, active faith and I want my faith to uh, to grow and become better as I grow through 2021. Um, the third area that I focus as priority in my life is my field um, or career um, or job or vocation or whatever it is that you define your work. OK, so my field, the job that I do and the way that I have relationships with my clients, the quality of the work that I do, my integrity, the word that I that I use as a as a as a guarantee for services and for, um, you know, the, the 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 work that I do for clients. Um, so I'm going to apply this word better in my field. The fourth area that I am going to focus on are my finances. And we all, you know, money makes the world go round. And, um, you know, but money is important. And I, and I have the uh, opinion that the money that we have is, is a resource for us to steward. Now, do I always do a good job at that? Obviously, uh, I do sometimes, but then other times I don't. So discipline is something that I am always uh, wanting to grow in the area of finances, both in my personal finances and in my business finances. So in 2021, I want to apply the word better. How can I be a better manager? How can I be a better steward of resources? How can I be more accountable, be more disciplined, be better at the way that I manage my money? Okay. Uh, the fifth way that I am going to let my uh, word impact my life is through my fitness. Now, I will tell you um, that this one is probably the one that I need the most help with. Um, but I can tell you that this is probably one that I'm most excited about because I have goals, phys physical fitness goals. And if you know me very well, you know that my physical fitness level and activity is not as much as some. Although I understand the uh, the importance of it, my wife is a fitness instructor and is a consistent good example for me every day. But the practical application in my own life sometimes is lacking. So for me to choose a word like better and apply it to uh, my fitness life, my physical fitness life, I'm actually encouraged. How can I make better choices? How can I be more disciplined with my activity um, throughout the days, weeks, months of 2021? to have a, uh, to make me better physically. So that one actually is one that I'm very excited about in the upcoming year. How can I take steps that will make my fitness better? Okay, um, the sixth um, F, the sixth area of priority in my life are friends. These relationships that I have with people who uh, I walk through life with, uh, they're my friends, they're accountability people, uh, they are, uh, a, a variety of different relationships in my life that I have a strong uh, and high value for. How can I make those relationships, how can I add value and be a better friend? Um, the last one is fun. Okay, how can I take time in my life? And guys, I love I love work. I love what I do. I love serving my clients. I love my family. I love everything about it. But for me, one of the other struggles that I have is just taking time just to relax, time to have fun, time to unplug. So again, this would be one where I'm very excited about the potential of being intentional about getting better at having fun. Doesn't that just sound good? I know, right? Um, so just to recap, I want to apply this word. Um, for me, it's these seven key areas, family, faith, field, finance, fitness, friends, and fun. 
All right. All right. So you can pick out which areas of priority you want to use in your life and uh, just and just be be consistent with it. So here's the last thing I want to share with you in ways that you can make this one word program a, a success. Number one, you know, pick a meaningful word um, that's not too complicated. Number two, apply it to multiple areas of your life. And number three, remember to keep it in front of you. OK, this is a word that we want to walk with us through the next 365 days of 2021. OK, and I'm just going to share with you the secret that I use to keep that word in front of me all day long. And uh, this is how I do it right here um, on my lock screen of my phone. I created a very simple graphic. And on my graphic, it has my keyword, refine. And right below it, it has the seven areas of priority in my life. So every time I pick up my phone to unlock the screen, I see my word. And I don't know about you. I pick up my phone maybe once or twice a day. Oh, that's a lie. I pick it up all the time. And so to have that constant reminder in front of me is a great way to keep this word permeating throughout me uh, throughout my mind, throughout the day. And it's just a great way to watch and see yourself grow in this word as the days go on. So again, just to recap here, um, I want to encourage you to pick a word. If you've got one, share it in the comments below. We'd love to see it. Um, I want to cheer you on. I want to uh, celebrate with you and uh, know that it's going to be a great year as you focus in on that one word for yourself. Remember, pick one that's not too complicated, um, one that's meaningful, and then find um, some specific ways that you can apply it to your life. I gave you seven examples, family, faith, field, finance, fitness, friends, and fun. And then always remember to keep it in front of you. Create a way that you can have this, uh, this word in front of you wherever you are, okay? Guys, I am excited for 2021. I know 2020 has just been uh, a drag. And I'm excited for the potential of 2021. And I'm excited for the uh, the new things that are going to happen. The new changes are going to happen in me and in you because of the one word that we choose to focus on. So, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Remember to join me back here on Tuesdays. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye okay, now.